If you ever installed Arch Linux before, you'll know there are many different variations of the Linux kernel. You might have wondered what the differences between these different versions of the Linux kernel are. That's what the topic of today's video is. I am going to be explaining the differences between these different variations, followed by a speed test and comparing them in benchmarks, as well as explaining who should be using which kernel. The first variation is the regular kernel. This is the kernel that 99% of Linux users are are going to be using. This kernel is considered the stable kernel as in it gets the regular amount of updates that the Linux kernel gets. This kernel is used in most Linux distributions. However, depending on the distribution, it can delay updates for even more stability. For example, on Arch, there are kernel updates pretty much every week, while on Fedora, the kernel only gets updated every six months. The next variation is the LTS kernel. LTS is short for long-term support, and that's exactly what this kernel is for. This kernel is different from the regular one, mostly from the amount of updates it gets. This kernel gets updated every three years for regular desktops and five years for servers. You might be asking, wouldn't infrequent updates affect security? And while it does deteriorate security a bit, it still gets all of the security patches from the newer Linux kernel. On this kernel, it mostly has older drivers meant for older hardware, and as a result, newer hardware may not work properly. Furthermore, it also lacks some newer features that are included at a kernel level and only available for the regular kernel. The variation after that is the hardened kernel. This kernel gets the same amount of updates as the regular Linux kernel, but this kernel is more tailored towards security. As such, it gets security patches before the regular kernel to add an extra layer of security. Some programs may have issues running under this kernel, and the kernel will randomly kill any processes it deems a threat. It also hides the processes IDs or PIDs of the processes running so that malicious actors can't address these processes directly, limiting the attack surface on this kernel. The final variation of Linux kernels is the Zen kernel. This kernel is the most popular variation due to it being useful for programs that might be more horsepower, such as video editing or gaming. In this kernel, performance is prioritized over power management. This kernel is mostly meant for desktops where power usage isn't a concern. Additionally, the kernel has a more optimized schedule for tasks. This kernel comes by default on distributions like Garuda Linux, where gaming is the main selling point. Now time to move on to the speed test. The specs of the laptop are listed up here if you want to take a look. We have from top left to bottom right, regular, LTS, Hardened, and the Zen kernel, all running on the same hardware. We start off, of course, with the startup test, where all computers are starting up at the same time, which should give us a general idea as to which kernel is fastest. Fast forwarding here, and you can see that Zen takes the first place with LTS and the regular kernel coming second and third, and then Hardened comes in last place a little while after that. Next is the time it takes for each computer to log in. I did this test separate because Linux doesn't allow you to not have a password on your user account. Here we can see that Hardened and Zen both come in for first place as you can see when they both load up and the LTS comes in second and regular comes in last place. Right after logging in, I opened System Monitor to see how much RAM each kernel was using. It was generally the same across the board except for the Hardened kernel which use 400 megabytes less of RAM than the other Linux kernel. Time to start opening programs. Starting with the calculator, I actually forgot this test on LTS, but it opened slightly faster on Zen and tied on the other two. Next was the file explorer named Dolphin on KDE, which was almost the same across the board with regular kernel getting its first win. Finally, we have aggregator, an RSS feed aggregator, which opened last on LTS because I kind of screwed up the test there because I didn't close it properly. Next, we have some media programs. Starting off with the same photo, this photo is actually pretty dense in resolution and bitrate, which is why it took a while for each system to open it, but they all mostly tied. Next, I opened Shrek the Third on VLC, which was a tie across the board on every system coming in at exactly the same time. After that was the same song on each with the regular kernel being the only one that got second. And then last we have the same word document, which I ended up forgetting on the LTS yet again, but regular ended up getting first for this test. Up next we have the usual browser tests I like to include in my speed tests. Starting with the Wi-Fi speed, there has been some drastic changes in my home network so this test is more skewed than ever. 
but for download, LTS ended up winning, but not by much at all. The same stands true for upload, where LTS was able to eke out a win, albeit a pretty small one because of the networking issues. After that, I loaded two web pages, the first being YouTube.com, which LTS and Hardened both tied for, while regular ended up getting last. Next after that was Yahoo.com, which tied on every system except for LTS, where it came in second slightly after. Finally, we have the benchmarks, which for this test was only on Geekbench 6. In terms of single score scores, every system except for Harden managed around the same, with LTS getting the most points at 304. The same was true for multi-core scores, where every system except for Harden got similar scores, yet LTS got the victory again. To conclude, I will be explaining which kernel is best for which use case. If you are using your desktop or laptop for just general Linux usage, the regular kernel should be more than enough. If you want a more stable system at the cost of not getting newer features, the LTS kernel will be the best kernel. If you want more security on your system at the cost of some things just not working, the hardened kernel will be the best. And if you want the best gaming performance and you don't care about the power usage, the Zen kernel will be the best. I hope this video helped you choose the right kernel for your desktop. If it did, be sure to leave a like and comment. I'll see you all next time.